the peddler's caravan a simple yet a beautiful composition by william brighty rands in this poem the poet wishes to live the life of a peddler he finds a peddler's life full of excitement and adventure the dialect of the poem is quite lucid and easy to understand and it contains rhyming couplets and poetic or literary devices come let us enjoy the poem stanza 1 i wish i lived in a caravan with a horse to drive like the peddler man where he comes from nobody knows or where he goes to but on he goes in the first stanza the poet expresses his deepest desire to live the life of a peddler man a peddler man is a person who moves from place to place selling different things the poet says that he does not know where the peddler man is coming from and where is he going to stanza 2 his caravan has windows too and a chimney of tin that the smoke comes through he has a wife with a baby brown and they go riding from town to town the second stanza describes the peddler's caravan the poet says that his caravan had two windows and a chimney made of tin the chimney served as an outlet for smoke his wife and a small baby also lived in the caravan with him and that served as their house the baby and the wife moved along with the peddler from one town to the other stanza 3 chairs to mend and delve to sell he clashes the basins like a bell tea trays baskets ranged in order plates with the alphabet round the border the third stanza provides a vivid description of the items sold by the peddler man the peddler used to sell chairs and delves now a delve is a type of a pottery which has a white base and it has painted pictures on it using the blue color along with the delf he also sold tea trays baskets and plates which had alphabets around the borders now children all these materials that he sold were beautifully organized within his small caravan and while he went from town to town he used to clash his carriage like a bell so that people come to know that the caravan has arrived and they can go out and purchase the items of their choice stanza 4 the roads are brown and the sea is green but his house is just like a bathing machine the world is round and he can ride rumble and splash to the other side now children when you read about the bathing machine did you have the idea that it was a machine in which you could enter and have a bath oh well that is in the case at all 
If you look at the pictures, the bathing machine looked exactly like the caravan. But it was a structure that used to stand on a seashore where people would change before they would go into the sea for swimming or to have a bath. These were wooden structures completely. So, in stanza 4, the peddler's caravan is compared to a bathing machine. It is the house of the peddler which the peddler can take anywhere according to his will. And as he moves ahead in his journey, he can see the brown roads and the green seas. The peddler is so free that he can travel with his caravan to the other side of the world too. Stanza 5 With the peddler man I should like to roam and write a book when I come home. All the people would read my book just like the travels of Captain Cook. In the last stanza, the poet expresses his utmost desire to roam like the peddler man and fill his life with so much of excitement and adventures that when he comes back home, he is able to write an entire book on his adventures and experiences. He wants people to read the book written by him just like they read the travels of Captain Cook with great interest. Just a brief introduction about Captain Cook. Captain Cook was the greatest uh, navigator and explorer of his time. He had gone on several secret expedition and voyages and had a very adventurous life. All his experiences are recorded in the book The Travels of Captain Cook. I hope you all have understood this easy poem very well and you will be able to interpret the poem on your own now. Go through the poem again and enjoy every bit of it. Thank you.